I have myopic macular degeneration. Mornings in my house are complete chaos. You want, what gloves do you want today? We have a system in place to help limit the visual energy that I have to expend getting the kids ready. Everything has a place, everything is organized. Being a mom and being visually impaired can be complicated, but as they've gotten older, it's gotten much, much easier. Right over there at the end of the room. I am an assistant professor, an epidemiologist at the Wilmer Eye Institute in January 2005. I was living in DC at the time, and as I was walking up the stairs from the metro, I had a retinal hemorrhage. I thought it was just the after image from the sun, but after turning the corner from walking up those stairs, it became clear that there was something really wrong with my vision. Just put this on here for a second. Bring it up super close to your nose. It's my center vision that is the central vision that is impaired. It is very wavy. It's like looking in a funhouse mirror in the center of my vision. I develop skills that I just kind of power through, uh, but I do have a limited amount of good, what I call good vision in any given day. It's very tough. And the, the biggest impact is just managing that. How are you gonna face life? with less vision. Hey, 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 Bonnie, how are you? When I was an MPH student in 2007, there was a course, Eye Disease Epidemiology, that Sheila West taught. And I took that course hoping to just learn more about vision and my eye disease. I wanted to meet with her to talk about her research. And really from that meeting, she just changed the direction of my research. I explained to her my situation and she convinced me that I had an opportunity that I should consider focusing my epidemiology research on vision impairment. I had a personal viewpoint that she thought would be important and a purpose. She very wisely saw what I did not yet see. And so after that, that was it. That's what I did. I think that it's so rare in life that one person just changes their whole life. She's never treated me as different or lowered expectations. She's always been tough. She understands the value of diversity in research and medicine. I have this very unique responsibility as both a patient and a researcher to advocate for patients, to educate others about vision impairment. So I hope by the end of my career that I've made some headway in educating not only professionals but also the public about vision impairment and what it means and what we can do with our lives.